Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, go on your favorite random man, Future King, YouTube, Tense, Women's the Building Day. Hope you guys are having a nice day and being safe, so on and so forth. So, um, I had a hard time making this video because, one, I didn't know how to talk about it. I really didn't. And, um, and, uh, so I had to watch, like, really, I watched other people's did YouTube, uh, do videos last year on it, like Corey Kenshin, Mighty Keith, Austin St. John. Uh, Markiplier, you know, then, uh, you know, like, Jack said, the guy, and uh, PewDiePie, they made tweets and stories about that, and, and, you know, I appreciate them talking about videos like that, you know, I, I do, I really do, for those celebrities who, who are making a stand with this, because those who don't know, George Floyd, who was, yes, killed by a um, police officer, white police officer, and, um, you know, and, and it caused a, a, a large uproar, and, in a, in a righteous so called uproar. So, um, so, uh, I had a friend of mine, no, no, talk about name Max. Uh, Max asked me this question. Y'all see Max on my, yes, I mean, y'all see Max on my channel. Uh, he's a part of the group channel, uh, Gentleman Games, so on and so forth. Uh, and I, my buddy Sonic, y'all seen Sonic before. He's, uh, he's black because <laughs> y'all didn't know. He's on. He's on the group channel. He asked me about this, and um, and I I done a lot of soul searching doing this. I really did because I didn't know how to talk about it or how to say. Because um, was what what hurt me was that this man was wrongfully killed, and then what's hurt me even more is not so much the protesting, the peaceful protesting, I should say, but um the rioting and looting that's what hurt me more more so than most than anything and um i i get i get the post i really do guys i eat some part of the rioting and looting maybe but a large part of my understanding comes from the protesting because we we want our voices heard and, we, and, and nine times out of ten our voices have not been heard as a black man as a black person in america uh, you know, is um, it, it from watching it and seeing it, you know, it's a it's a struggle because then because nine times ten, look what happened with, uh, with Aubrey. The man was just jogging around, he just got jumped for no apparent reason. With George Floyd, handcuffed for no apparent reason, you know, wrongfully killed, and um. It is, and I, I see what they're saying. Like it's it, it's gone to a point. It's, it's gotten too much. You know, and I and, and I had to stay off social media for like for a good minute because it was a lot of negativity. And um, and I rarely saw any peaceful, like positive stuff, because. I get why we're angry, guys. I get why we're protesting, but the rioting and looting, and it's the people getting hurt. And yeah, it's like, it's just not police hurting people. It's people hurting people for no reason, for no reason at all. You know, I get that, Um, I believe Mighty Q said in his video, he went protesting, then the police showed up, then got a little, a little scared, and he had to dip, and, um, and I'm very political when I talk to this in this YouTube channel. I mostly like to talk about movies, video games, like Let's Plays and stuff like that. I, I get somewhat political a little bit, not too much, when I'm really around my trust circle trust circle of friends, my family, and sometimes on Facebook. Um, rarely so on Twitter. <laughs> and none and none on Instagram. But um you know, I do. I did. I by when I actually got back on social media, I did see some peaceful stuff where I saw of like a five year old kid hugging a police officer while I see police officers are on their knees praying for a peaceful solution. And um, it, it, yeah, everybody's wrong on all parts because um, I think, I think me and my dad watched CNN one day, and this black guy was just cursing at the police, yelling at him. The police. Didn't do it. The police was there standing ground and the guy was just arguing, yelling at them. So you blankety blank, this, that, and the other. And the police stormed him 
and, sp and a pepper spray them. Now, yes, the police was wrong on that part, but the, also the the black guy who is um, inciting them, or I mean, uh, I don't know if I'm saying the word right. Sorry, provoking them. He was in the wrong for doing that. And like right now, it's crazy. That all police need just the reason to do something, and we shouldn't give them that reason to do anything, guys. I get that we're mad, but those who's rioting, looting, and 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 giving a reason police to do something to them, and saying like saying George Floyd, George Floyd, I can't breathe. Stop provoking that. I get like, cause right now, really, honest God, we like right, not really halfway through twenty twenty. We ain't not even at half time yet, and like a lot of stuff happened from dead celebrities, dead wrestlers. You know, this pandemic is like it, it seems. It seems it's gonna get a lot worse before it get better. And the one thing that really, that really like got me, got my stomach flipping backwards is um. What's after this? What's after the riot? What's after looting? What's after this protesting? Are we going to go back to the norm? Because that's the one thing I fear. That's the one thing I fear until we get another George Floyd. Until we get another uh, uh, Trayvon Martin. You know, because when things happen with Trayvon Martin, yeah, we yeah we had a peaceful protest. People were protesting. But what happened? Nobody really done the work to um to do. You know, Maybe I don't know because I look back at Dr. Martin Luther King and um, Malcolm X, two um, strictly different characters, but you saw you saw the motives of what they're trying to do. You know, like Martin Luther King is talking about peace, turn the other cheek. Malcolm X talking about peace, but uh, you know, but he's talking about uh, I not, I won't say I forget. I'm paraphrasing, but you you, you see when I get that they did the work to make the right things happen. Sure, it's sad that how they die, but their legacy and their memory still lives on. And we can't sit there and riot and loot different stores and say say any for saying the name of George Floyd or saying I can't breathe. You know, it's um uh, like I said, not every police is bad. I, and I get it. This is probably more bad than good. I I get that. I I humbly do, guys. I really do. But to sit there and just keep provoking, 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 and rioting and looting, you're not help. It's not helping the cause. We gotta do better to help the cause. If we don't know, ask questions. We don't know how to ask questions. Real talk, because it's um. The more that people riot and loot, the more problems are gonna cause. It's not helping. And I get, and you, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful when you do a peaceful protest because you don't know, but somebody else got a different agenda. I'm just speaking truth here, because, you know, I get that nine times out of the news they don't show everything, and I get that. But sometimes we gotta we we gotta have the mindset to think, and be like, okay, this is what I gotta do, you know. We gotta stop seeing it as some type of trend or something. You know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's like it's sad. Like I said, I, yeah, I, I, I feel like people are thinking to say, yeah, peaceful protesting is not going to help. This, that, that. It does help. It does help. It's put in the work. It's what we got to do. Spread it, spread it, spread a good message. That's why I'm doing this video here because nine times out of 10, yeah, it may like the whole world against you. Yeah. It's like, if I, like more bad things happen than, than good. But we can't let that overtake us. We cannot be with the norm. How do we do that? Stay positive. Be peaceful about it. Stop provoking that. That's the one thing we got to do. You know, like I said, those who, again, those who are doing the peaceful protesting and using their platform, or like I mentioned before, like Markiplier, Jeff Sutter, PewDiePie, Austin St. John, Corey Kitchen, Mighty Keith, all those, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You know, 
I'm not in the thing. Like I said, you just got to be careful out there. Not nine, nine times out of 10. Supposedly there's a whole bunch of cases of COVID-19 during this whole pandemic, doing this whole riot and looting thing. And I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Cause nine times out of 10, you see, you see people with masks going. So, you know, <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to stay positive, trying to keep it laughing. I know cause this is, this is a serious matter, but at the same time, guys, we got to stay positive. And I thank God, for just not keeping my family safe, but for keeping you guys safe out there. Those who are taking time to watch this video here, I thank you guys for giving me your ear and giving me your time. Like I said, 2020, 2020 is something else right now. <laughs> it, it, it really is. And I'm not, and uh, I'm about to wrap up soon here. Um, I just want y'all to be safe out there, man. Be safe. Stay mindful. Watch your surroundings. You know, it's sad. It's sad that we do have other so-called celebrities, millionaires, who preach doing the right thing, but doing something completely different. I'm not going to say this person's name because he probably don't need that much clout from me anyway. <laughs> but those, those you know what I'm talking about, you know, there you go. But um, my best thing I'm saying is, okay, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> the best thing I'm saying is um, be mindful, be careful, guys. Stay positive, stay safe. You know, that's pretty much all I'm pretty much saying here in this video. You know, and to the family of George Floyd, I'm sorry if you had to suffer this, uh, this horrendous loss. A life that's le le needlessly taken away for no apparent reason. You know, I hate, I hate that we're going through this. I hate the fact that people are not using logic. I hate people using a person who passed away just to ride and loot. You know, I hate the fact that they're using this option just to make other people, just to make these peaceful protests look bad. And again, like I said, again, like I said before, I'm going to end it with this. I get that, yeah, nine times when people don't trust police. I understand that. I get that. Look, look I see, I saw it just by every time on social media, social media, excuse me. I seen it just by every time but uh, at the same time we got to be smarter than that we got to do better it's going to take work it's going to be hard but we can do it i believe i i believe we can and i believe we will long as we long as we do our best you know i said this will pass this will pass don't know when it will but it will pass and we cannot be part of that we just can't be part of that, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. Leave it there. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all guys in this video. I hope to come back with a cheerful, a more cheerful video, guys. I love you, and y'all stay safe. I love y'all for real, from the heart.